Hi everyone, today I'm taking all of my paintings and all of my ceramic pieces into my degree show at uni and I'm going to be setting it all up and making it look all nice for marking and then also the exhibition. So I've got these two big bags full of ceramics in my paintings and honestly I don't think that's the safest way to pack ceramics but I had no bubble wrap so we're doing the best with what we've got and this is my outfit for today. So as this is the first day of setup, I'm not actually putting anything on the walls yet as I need to kind of think of a design and a layout that will look nice. So last week I was at the car boot and I found these three shelves which were literally perfect. Do you guys ever just manifest something before you go like thrifting or car booting and then you find it and it's literally better than you expected? Well that was what happened with those shelves. At this point I'm mapping out where I want things to be in newsprint and kind of putting the biggest piece in the middle. Me and my tutor spoke about the kind of design that we think would look best and we decided on a gallery wall sort of effect so the bigger pieces will be in the middle and the little ones will be scattered around the edge. This probably makes absolutely no sense to anyone else, but I kind of put the sticky notes where I wanted the other paintings to be. And then I ended up changing all in the end anyway, so this was completely useless. I quickly popped down to the ceramic studio and I picked up some other stuff that I wanted in the exhibition, such as that little lemon juicer and the other little pendants that you can see on the table. Um, I love how these turned out, but I massively messed up and I glazed way too much. So much that the glaze covered the holes and I can't actually use them. This is now the second day of setup and the technicians have put my shelves up and my paintings and I can finally put my ceramic pieces on and kind of really see how the layout's coming together and it looks really nice. I'm super pleased with it. So I wasn't going to include the boy with the pomegranate piece but me and my tutor agreed that it did fit quite nicely with the rest of the paintings so I brought it in today as well and I had some more ceramics waiting for me in the studio and I honestly love how these turned out. I think this is my best set yet. They're just so cute, so colourful and I'm probably going to put these up online on my website, Opro Store, um, after the exhibition's done. So if you want to find out when the dates of that and more details about that, just follow my Instagram, which I've linked in the description, and I will post about it as soon as I can once I pick the pieces up after the 29th of May. I actually had two more pieces that I had not finished that I'm going to bring into the exhibition, and this was one of them, and I can honestly say that this is one of my favourite pieces paintings I've ever done is just so cute I love it um, and I'm just starting the final one now and it's basically a reference photo of me that I took the day that we visited a really nice lake last summer and it's just me sat on the boardwalk with my sandals So there's quite a lot of challenges with this painting. I didn't realize how over primed I made it. So the paint was just kind of sitting on it really funny and had this weird texture to it. I usually don't prime my paintings, but 
I kept seeing everyone say, you gotta prime your paintings, and I think this was already a primed canvas, and it just made the paint sit so horribly that I just ended up hitting the entire piece, but I don't know, I think as artists, like, we judge our own work so harshly, but yeah, I just really didn't like this piece, but it was too late to start again. So I finally completed everything for my degree show, all of my paintings, all of my ceramics and the last thing I'm going to do is take everything in tomorrow which is kind of scary like it feels weird to be finishing uni and like not like it feels so weird it feels like I should be doing something you have nothing to do but yeah so I'm going to take everything in tomorrow and then I'll show you what the finished outcome looks like so this is the last and final day that I will be going into uni as a student I love my outfit today, it's just kind of basic, minimal, but still very cute and I've got all of my paintings I made the other day and I'm bringing them in and I've just popped into the ceramic studios just to see what else I have in case I've missed anything and I did find the bowl and like a little mug holder that I made. And look at how nice my little space looks. I actually love it so much. I think it, it looks even better than I expected, honestly. I love how all the ceramic pieces kind of speak to the paintings and how all the colors are just like, just work so well together. Like it's just so nice to see it all finished and put together like this. I'm like a huge perfectionist when it comes to my paintings and I just kept having to move like little ones around here and there just so it kind of made more sense in my own head. I don't know if it made it look any better but I kind of just moved the last couple of ones around just so to me it was finally perfect. that the technicians were not happy with me and were definitely gonna love to see me go because the amount of times I asked them to move my paintings was kind of insufferable but you know it had to be done it just had to be done I'm showing my ceramics on the shelf I realized that I left the five pound sticker on from the car boot <laughs> so obviously I'm gonna take that off because you know I don't want people to know what a bargain I got for this shelf so next week we have the invigilators coming to mark our work as well as the tutors so we've kind of brought everything in like all of our sketchbooks and any additional work that we might not necessarily want in the final exhibition so that's why i've got the basket there and my sketchbooks so i'm going to quickly show you around just a little bit around my space i don't want to record the whole thing because people are still working and putting stuff up Whilst I was doing a little pan over I realised that the metal brackets look kind of ugly and me and the technicians decided that it would be best to paint them over in white just so they're less visible and kind of look a bit more like floating shelves instead of mounted on the wall. I'm honestly so pleased with how it's turned out, I think it looks really good and better than I could have imagined and honestly if I don't get it first I'm going to be very annoyed. Anyway, see you in my next video, bye!